Hey, how's it going? So, I just left Best Buy. It's, uh, back there if you can. Best Buy, yeah. I just got to check out the new iPhone 13 mini, Pro and Pro Max in person, and I got to check out the new iPad mini in person as well. Of course, I'm not buying all these things, so I went to Best Buy and just nerded out. And that was so much fun. So I didn't get any pictures of these products, unfortunately. I just don't want to do any like breach of contract or anything unnecessary like that. And so I know Best Buy is fairly strict with these things. So I decided no pictures, but I can tell you about my experience. And so the colors I got to see were the Sierra Blue, iPhone 12 Pro or 13 Pro Max, the gold, the new gold on the Pro, 13 Pro, then the pink on the 13 mini. The Sierra Blue looks 100% different in person than it does online. Online, it's a baby blue and I just loved it. In person, unfortunately, man, it's more like a gray with a bluish hue to it. It's, uh, it's meh. And then the stainless steel sides are similar to the Pacific blue stainless steel sides. So it's still dark blue, not a light blue. Man, on the website, it looked gorgeous. Like it was wonderful. And now here in store, it in person, just not great. Just nah. Then the gold is a little bit, I feel like more intense, darker than last year. And I, I think I like it better than last year too. It's not bad, not bad at all. The, again, website pictures do not do it justice. It's not bad. And then the pink 13 mini was not bad at all. It's, it's mini and it has a, just a, a light pink. It's like white and pink mixed together. So that's really all it is. So nothing special. I wouldn't choose that for myself. I'm excited to see what the rest of the colors look like in person though, whenever Best Buy or Apple Store or someone gets them out in stock. And then I also got to see the new iPad mini in purple. I don't care for the purple color. Again, it's not my style, but a lot of people will probably love it. But I do think that it is a great iPad. It's tiny and it's beautiful. It works fantastically. It, the Apple Pencil on the side of it is not uncomfortable. I can palm the iPad in my hand. The volume buttons on the top, you know, might take some adjusting to get to, but it's not a big deal. I love it. And I'm sure if you end up buying one, you're gonna love it too. I held it in landscape mode and man, it's small, it's nice. I'm used to holding my 12.9 inch honker of an iPad like that. And goodness, I love the new iPad mini like that. That would be cool. The only downside I saw is the weather widget does look pretty tiny on that screen. So the way Best Buy has the phones is you can't put the phones and iPads in jiggle mode, unfortunately. So, so you know, change the widgets and stuff. So I didn't get to see what the weather widget looked like on the mini, but if you had the 12 mini from last year, that's the same. But the new iPad mini, the weather widget is just scrunched in, either in landscape mode or in portrait mode. The weather widget is so scrunched in, and I'm used to using it on my 12 Pro Max, and it's beautiful, but the big weather widget on the iPad mini should be bigger because it's a bigger screen than the 12 Pro Max, but it was, I, so I didn't like how they made that look. That's just me though. It's a little too scrunched in. The bezels are fairly thick, but you know, you can't get away from that. I would love one day to see an iPad mini with even smaller bezels. And I know the bezels are where you put your fingers so that you don't put your hand on the screen when you're watching content. But whenever you're watching content, there's always black bars on the sides, most often, I guess. So I feel like having smaller bezels really would not get in the way. I think it would be awesome. And yeah, so that's really cool. Back to the 13s. I tried a cinematic mode on the 13 mini and it was beautiful. And if it was great on the 13 mini, imagine what it's gonna be on the pros models, on the pro models. That's gonna be so cool. So yeah, I didn't try it on the pro models. I just wanted to try it on the mini. 
and see how good it is. And I tried editing and it's cool. And then, so I did not get to test the cinematic mode on actual people, but I did get to try it just on, you know, different products on the iPhone 11s that were in front of the 13 series. Sorry, the iPhone 12s that were in front of the 13s. So I kind of just, you know, went from one to the other and it changed the focus on it as I moved the camera and actually worked really well. I loved it. I'm so excited to try it out more if I ever get the chance. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully this helped somebody out. This was just my brief hands-on experience with these new products. And if anybody ever gets any more experience, if anybody buys any of this stuff, let me know what you think in the comments below. What is your favorite color? Do you like this new Sierra Blue or do you just think it's meh? I was disappointed in person. The website looked beautiful. It didn't look great on the store in person, whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jake, this is Shot on My Phone.